We've seen a few winter storms this season so far, including the one this week, but so far we haven't had a blizzard warning. Tony wants to know why the National Weather Service didn't issue a blizzard warning and if blizzard conditions actually had to be happening, not just possible. But the answer we turn to the expert, Chief Meteorologist Ellen Baca. All right, Michelle, so here's the answer. Blizzard warnings are issued if we expect blizzard conditions. The thing is, it's a pretty strict qualification for a storm to meet blizzard conditions. I just want to start off with this first graphic. It's so interesting. It shows you the days since a blizzard warning was issued per office, per National Weather Service office. Spots in Montana, it's only been 26 days. Spots in North Dakota, it's been a day since they've had a blizzard warning issued. But here in West Michigan, we're up near 1,000 1,074 days since our last blizzard warning was issued, and that was near the lakeshore, just our lakeshore counties that saw it. So, what does it have to be in order to qualify as a blizzard? You need three things, and you cannot be missing any of these three in order to have a blizzard warning issued. First and foremost, we expect visibility of a quarter of a mile that's incredibly low or less. Along with that, sustained winds of 35 miles per hour or greater, it can never dip below that. That's a pretty hard one to get. Now, in addition to that, we have to have visibility of a quarter of a mile, winds up 35 miles per hour or greater for at least three hours. If any of these three criteria are not met, then it does not to get a blizzard warning attached to it. Our last big blizzard, that was 2011, the Groundhog Day blizzard of 2011. You'll remember that we saw some wind speeds of about 60 miles per hour coming in off of Lake Michigan. There's an example of the visibility. In addition to that, we had some snow drifts that were as high as six feet. So there's an example of that with the cars buried. Now, how rare are blizzards? We typically only see about one true blizzard per generation. All right, so that was it in 2011. Very strict that was it. criteria. Might have to wait a while for our next one. Yeah. All right, thanks. And if you have a weather question that you want to ask Ellen, all you have to do is send it to the 7 at woodtv.com.